Hey y'all, it's Lonnie and welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything mom life, wife life, kid life, and of course, homeschool. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell at the top so you can get a notification every time I upload something new. Now, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to my first ever vlog. This is the day in a life of a work at home homeschooling mom. So first things first, I get up super early in the morning and I teach my lovely students in China. Most of them are in China. So what you see here is just me interacting with my students. I typically wake up maybe three, four hours before my daughter so that I can get all of my classes in for the day. So what you guys didn't get a chance to see in this video is me sending off my husband and my two older children for the day. So remember I have two children who are in public school. So they get up when I am teaching and get ready for the day and so does my husband and he takes them to school and then he heads to work. In between classes, I have a super short, like three to five minute break. So I typically make a cup of coffee in one of those breaks. In another break, I go and I feed our rabbit. I do need to clean her cage. I did do that later in the day, but I didn't video it. I am all finished with my classes for the day and my little son's giant is up making her breakfast in the morning when she eats her breakfast she watches her morning playlist on YouTube starting with some affirmations for the day while she's doing that I typically go and write out what we're doing for the day for her she's really enjoying having this checklist and knowing what's coming next so we've been doing that a lot lately and it's keeping us on track pretty well after that, she's usually still eating, so then I go and I make myself breakfast. I don't eat breakfast before I teach because it's just too early and I don't want to get up extra early to make myself some breakfast. So we've got through a couple of things on our homeschooling checklist for the day. So it was pretty nice outside, so we went out for a walk. They're still doing construction in our neighborhood and they have this big pile of dirt that she likes to play on. So we walked out there to run up and down this little dirt hill. We are back home and she is starting on her math doing some Prodigy. She really, really loves Prodigy. She would stay on it all day if I let her. So while she's doing that, I am fixing her lunch and cleaning the kitchen. So now we're all ready for lunch. I usually don't eat lunch when she does. We typically do our read aloud time during lunchtime and then I eat lunch a little bit later in the day or whenever I feel like eating lunch. Today after lunch, she wanted to do some more math so she got right back on Prodigy. My glasses snapped on the way to the YMCA. Luckily, I have like six pairs. So I'll just grab another pair to work out in. I could have let that get me frustrated, but usually when stuff like that happens, I just look at it as God protecting me from something, shielding me from something. So I don't get frustrated or upset. I just keep on moving, keep on moving. Even though I'll be late to Zumba, it's all good. We're still gonna go. <laughs> this is the worst fake sleep ever. <laughs> Zumba time! Oh, 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 oh,
Y'all, we live in the YMCA. The whole family <laughs> loves the YMCA. There's something for all of us to do all the time. So we're always there. If you don't have a membership, get a membership. You don't have to find a babysitter. They have it right there for you. So much fun. Super easy dinner tonight. Just popping some DiGiorno's in the oven. We usually have pizza maybe like two Fridays of the month. My order kids will not be here this Friday. So we decided to go ahead and have pizza night on Thursday. And plus, we are busy today. So easy, easy, quick dinner. So I didn't film a whole lot of us schooling today because I'd like to be very present when we are doing our school time but i do want to share this checklist with you guys so we didn't make it through everything and that is more than okay we can just push it to the next day it's not a big deal and also depending on if she wants to spend more time on a subject we may not get to the other things so today she wanted to do a lot of math so she spent some extra time on prodigy and then we did a lot of work with counting coins and being able to add up money because that's where we are right now is money math so yeah when you are going through your homeschool day don't feel like if you use a checklist you have to get through everything this is your school make it the way you want it make it comfortable for both you and your child okay you made it this far thank you so much for tuning into my first ever vlog the day is officially done. The kids are in the bed. I need to go take a shower and I need to check my schedule for tomorrow. And I need to send a couple of client emails because not only do I work for some online teaching companies, I also have my own private students. So I just need to make sure everything is squared away with that. I also need to work on my blog, but I don't know if that's gonna happen tonight. I just wanna lay down. <laughs> <laughs> to those of you who vlog all the time, bless, bless. Like, this is so much work. I don't know if I will ever vlog again. Okay, never say never, maybe, I don't know. But thinking like I have to wake up and do it again tomorrow. Tomorrow's an even busier day. It actually might be a fun day to vlog. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Make sure you give this video a big, big thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what's your average day like? If you're a work at home mom, a stay at home mom, or a homeschooling mom or dad, let me know what do you typically do in a day because I know sometimes it can get really really crazy all right well that's all I have for you this time I will see you in the next one bye <laughs>